All right, guys, welcome to episode 132 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me. Got the dogs put up. You already know how to fuck with rocking, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that like button. Go down in the comments. Let us know that you're rocking with us. You know what I'm saying? Go to Teespring. Look us up. Get yourself a little merch. You know what I'm saying? And uh, just support, man. Just fucking let us know that you're rocking, man. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's a beautiful Tuesday. How we feeling, Johnny? How we feeling? How we feeling? <laughs> Feeling good. We're feeling good. I got the fucking bucket hat on today, y'all. You know, got the Louis V bucket like fucking Dolph. Yeah, like Dolph in this bitch, man. Just chilling, bro. Fucking, it's a beautiful Tuesday. Um, it's been feeling nice. It's been bro. feeling nice. So yeah, just like Loki said, just fucking get your hoodie, man. We got the link in the in the bio. Yeah, we got link, the link in the description, man. Get your little hoodie. Hoodie season's coming up. Got some new colorways. My boy put together over there. You know what I'm saying? Light. Fashionista, light, you Mr. Know? Fucking Fashion Nova over there. You know what I'm saying? Just to get the you know just to get the mood right because like I know some of the colorways were off. They were just playing. Yeah, you know? it was just it was our first round. We just you know we put it up just to have the merch. But you know what yep. I'm saying? My dog put some work behind it. But talking about mood, man. Go ahead and set the mood. Like your blunt, like your J pack, your bone pack, your bowl. Get your edibles ready. Get your dab rigs going. Whatever the fuck you're rocking with, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I got my cup of wine. Yeah, my dog got that white wine. Yo, I'm not going flex, bro. He put me on that on that white wine, man. That six dollar mm-hmm. bottle of fucking barefoot. Yeah, <laughs> you know bro. What I'm like, and then like this is like some pineapple shit. I don't know what it is, but like, I don't know why no one told me about wine, bro. Bro, we were just young and dumb. Like, honey, I'll drink, honey, bro. Yeah, because I'll drink some alcohol. Like, I'll drink some, you know, hardcore shit when it's time to go out. But, like, when you have some wine, like, you know you can have a cup of wine and just be all right and still go out somewhere. You used to be able to go man, to, like, listen, do, still be able to function. Of, like, yeah, you have a couple cups of wine, man. You're feeling good. You're feeling all right. You don't need too much. That's the thing about wine. You really don't need too much. Mm-hmm. Too much really actually fucks you up, man. Like, but it's still not like other alcohol where you feel like shit the next day. Yeah, you drink a bottle of Henny, you're going to be fucked up, guarantee. Oh, no, no, you're going to be fucking hurting. You're like, you're going to be hurting. But you drink a bottle of wine, you're like, when someone says a bottle of wine, what do you think of? You think of it like really, really fucking light. You're just like, "Ah, a bottle of wine. Yeah. It's like something like a girl drinks. Like my boy, he's just like, oh, you're a girl, bro. You're a girl. I was like, no, bro. Like It's class. Yeah, but everybody else was like, oh, no. All the girls are like, oh, no, like. It's really classy. It's really nice. Yeah, like it it's, is. It's, it's, uh, it's not gay. For yeah, sure. It's just fucking, it's a different type of alcohol. But what? I prefer wine over champagne. I prefer wine over hard liquor. I prefer wine over, right now, at this point in my life, I prefer wine over all that shit, bro. Because it just, it's better tasting. I like the white wine. I don't like the, the darker, bit more bitter wine, bro. Yeah. I guess that's for more experienced fucking wine drinkers or something. I don't know. But like a white wine that's sweet, bro, that shit just hits the spot. Yeah, you, know you light yourself a little blunt, pour yourself a little glass. Yeah, now nah, some, some men I don't. Thought. Some men don't drink. You know what I mean? So y'all yeah. won't understand. But like for the drinkers out there, you know, just try it. Get a little bottle of wine. Listen, man, bring I've it for your girl. It I've been through it all. We went from the fucking four locos to the motherfucking E and J bottles from E and J. We went to fucking Don Q from Don Q. We went to fucking uh, uh, Henny, and then from Henny, bro, I was just like, man, forget all that, bro. Like I just. <sighs> After that, I went to beer. From beer, I went to like seltzer, and then from seltzer, I went to wine. It's just an evolution, man. Yeah, like, it's an evolution, like anything else, bro. But the, the last chick I was seeing was fucking. She was fucking. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, "Yo, don't worry, I got the bottle already. I got the bottle of Henny." I was like, "Damn!" Bottle like she was drinking. Henny, yo, like, you a different breed, bro. Nah, but she was serious. Like yeah, she got no. the, like she was dead ass. Like she's like, "Yo, she drinks Henny too." I was just like, "That's what I liked about her." I was just like, "Oh, she uh-huh. drank Henny." You know what I mean? Yo, if you drink Henny, bro, you're a different type of animal. Yo, you're toxic if you drink Henny. Yeah, I remember my Henny days, bro. They were toxic as fuck. Yeah, they were. <laughs> nah, bro. It'd be like that, though. That shit just turns you into a devil. That's what they say. That's what they say, man. But they also say, bro, they also say that what? women can have an orgasm in their sleep, Johnny Boy. Tell me more about this. Oh, man. I never heard about that till today. I, I thought mean, he was bullshit. I mean, he told me and I laughed. To be honest, I found about it today, too. Like, I, yeah, I, it's like, not something I knew for a long time, bro. <laughs> like, this shit, I just found out. And it was actually uh, one of my homegirls, she told me, she mentioned it to me. And they're talking about how women orgasms in your sleep females for for females is rare right so it's super rare it's not like oh, something that's okay, like okay. common like but yeah it says in the article right here orgasming in your sleep as a female is rare but it's also incredibly possible known as a sleep orgasm a nocturnal orgasm that's what they call it 83 percent of men have reported having a sleep orgasm at some point in their lives what the fuck 83 percent. that's a high number that is I'm not, that's never happened to me, bro. I don't know. That's never happened to me either, unless I woke up and there was fucking jizz in my pants. But 
That's never happened to me. Nah, it's never happened to me. But like, I don't know. But they're saying that eighty three percent of men is a lot, bro. Yeah, and that's eight out of ten out of you niggas. But they're talking about thirty seven percent of women have experienced a nocturnal orgasm. Thirty seven. That's a lower percentage. That is a, a way lower percentage. So why did I find out about this from a woman? She must have fucking had it. She must have had Casper all up in her fucking <laughs> shit. No cap. Yo, Yo Casper <laughs> was in that bitch for real, bro. Casper was having his night out, bro. That's but different. But he was in. You know what I'm saying? That's different. <laughs> but if you're not, is that like a REM sleep or like I don't know? Because like if you're in a REM sleep, you don't you shouldn't remember because you're dreaming unless you're dreaming about it and then you fuck that's what I have see <laughs> she was thinking about it so it was sleep. a REM sleep you're fucking dreaming about it and you fucking <laughs> I wonder if she was getting I don't know bro that's that's crazy that's a crazy situation I mean yeah it's never happened bro to me that's crazy it what's more crazy to me is that 83% of guys say it's happened to them you ever peed in your bed no you know that that's linked to like trauma right Really? Like peeing your bed is linked to like trauma and anxiety and shit like that. Like it's it's not linked to good things if you're peeing your bed at a certain age. When you're a kid, you're a baby, of course. Everybody fucking. But what's a certain age of you like stop peeing your bed? Because I've heard of people like, peeing their bed. Like, I, I, I didn't pee my bed after like four years old, three years old. I, I was a kid. I was I was like pretty I good with that shit. I don't think I peed my bed ever. Yeah, like I don't when you're so. a baby, when you're a toddler, that's you different. might that that's a baby yeah, thing to do. Count. But like, yeah, that's what I mean. Like after like four years old, bro. I never, that never happened to me. I knew, like, I heard of kids that were like, that was happening to them. They were like 12. You know what I'm saying? They were 12 years old waking up and they pissed the bed and shit. And it's like, that's linked to other things, bro. That's linked to, that's linked to other shit. Yeah. Unless you just have a bladder problem, that's possible too. That's possible too. It could be a medical condition, but a lot of times it's like, it's not. (laughs) That's a, that's a, that's a weird thing to happen. Cause I know some people that, you know, that it's happening to their kids, but they're like fucking like six seven maybe they just got a bladder i don't know maybe it's just a bladder issue you're right i don't fucking know but uh but yeah bro there was a situation that i saw on facebook i don't know columbus day columbus day just passed not too long ago and uh i saw people saying yo the only fucking christopher we're gonna represent is christopher wallace which is biggie smalls (laughs) (laughs) hey yo no round of applause listen round of applause to that because that shit was pretty fucking hard Damn, bitch, let me find it. Let me find it. Yeah, there we go. Hey. That. That shit was pretty hard. That no, it was pretty hard. hard. It was bars, for sure. That's bars. Yeah, and I was just like, wow, that was pretty smooth. But, I mean, we got to think about this, guys. Like, Columbus did a lot of fucking things, too, that yeah. helped us out. Like, there's certain crops and certain fucking things that we wouldn't have if Christopher Columbus wasn't here. Yeah, no, nah, he created it's- a lot of the fucking uh, trading routes and stuff like that. Like, And, like, we were talking about, you know what I'm saying earlier, like... You could be great and be efficient and be doing, you know what I'm saying? Do a lot of things for the world and still be a piece of shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that, that happens to this day. There's plenty of guys that are super rich. You know what I'm saying? They, they donate here, donate there, do this and do that for the fucking planet. But low key, they fucking slap their wife around. They fucking curse out their kids every morning. They don't give a fuck. They're pieces of shit. It like, yeah. It doesn't <laughs> like, matter. Like there's a lot. But of some- you can't take away from the good, the good that they brought to the fucking. Yeah. World. It's like Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King was a great fucking leader. He was fu- he changed the world. He changed mm-hmm. the perspective on you know the race perfect. issue. But he wasn't he used perfect. To cheat he on had, his wife, and he was a pimp. That yeah, motherfucker like was a pimp. Like real talk. Like he had. No, no, like, that was Malcolm X. That was Malcolm X. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Malcolm X. Yeah. Malcolm anyways, X had a bro. Malcolm X was a criminal pimp. Yeah, this that there you go. whatever. He was a lot of things until he changed his life around. You know what I'm saying? But that just goes to show, man. Like you can change your life around. You know what I'm saying? Like. You could become a better person and and change your like your past doesn't doesn't make you who you are today. Like it's part of who, it's part of who you are. It's part of your past, but you could be a completely fucking different person and change. You know what I'm saying? Change your life around. Yeah, I mean, you got to accept the flaws that come with the good too. Nobody's there's, perfect. There, there's good and there's, nobody's there's bad. perfect. And like a lot, like the problem with this world, a lot of the times is people like to point out other people's shit, but they don't like to reflect and look at their own shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's a big problem. Like people complain about things that happened before anybody was even born nowadays. Like that Christopher Columbus thing. Bro, that's the way the world was back then. Like that's what you would have been doing too. You see what I'm saying? It was normal. Like that's what it was. It's like, I'm going to conquer. I'm going to fucking take over this land. I'm going to explore. I'm going to conquer. I'm going to come here. And if we could take it, we'll take it. Yeah. Like that's how there's there's been plenty of people that did that. Yeah. And there's a lot of things that come with conquering. 
Like it's not just like, hey, we're here. No, we're gonna kill you. We're gonna fucking take your women, and yeah, bro. we're gonna take over everything. Like people forget that the Vikings did that. So let's just cancel out the Vikings. Because the Vikings fucking came and they fucking destroyed. They did way vicious shit. They were known for that type of shit, bro. Out here destroying, taking their fucking land, fucking raping their, their whatever. You That's know a what fact. I'm like, dead ass. It was fucking vicious. But uh, people, you know, that's just part of history, man. It's literally what part of history is. Like, it's going to be ugly before it gets fucking beautiful. And right now we're living in the fucking beautiful. Yeah, bro. Like, like people, people need just to realize people that. complain a lot, bro. But it's a it's a great time to be alive when it comes down to technology. When it comes down to a lot of different things. When it comes down to medic uh, medication and just like hospitals, like bro, think about it. In the eighteen hundreds, people were dying from simple diarrhea. People were dying from simple shit, like yeah. shit that you could literally just go to CVS and get some medicine for. <laughs> like, yeah, you know what I'm saying. At like, the end of the day, like people don't know for sure. Like, people could say this and say that about certain people, but this happened thousands and thousands of yeah, years ago. Yeah, this happened a long time ago. Nobody was there. And people rewrite shit. Yeah. People rewrite history all the fucking time. So how do we know that this person didn't lie about this? You're, so you're telling me every fucking thing that it's was all made. Factual. Yeah, it was yeah. all facts. Like, come on, bro. Like, look at look at certain gossip that happens today. There's a lot of fucking gossip that happens every single day. And guess what? It's not. It ends up not being fucking true. Facts. Because Facts. of so and so and so and so. So we're gonna believe a fucking book that someone wrote fucking years ago. Like it's gonna change over time. Like people yeah, are gonna people like, are gonna yeah. change the story. It's people not gonna, gonna be the same. The like that's just facts. That's like uh, if if that was a fact, then everything would be perfect. Everybody's perfect. They have no flaws. Then the book was. Nah, yeah. bro. There's a lot of fucked up people. Yeah. There's a lot of people that do a lot of bad shit, but they they still bring something to this planet. And then right? the the school it happens. The school fucking systems and what they're fucking teaching these kids and shit. Like, come on, bro. Like, we've seen the shit that's been going on in our fucking schools, bro. Like, yeah, we, it's crazy. we we graduated high school. You know what I'm saying? We did 12 years of fucking school. We know what the fuck is going on and what the fuck we're reading. And years down the line, like, we don't even need half the shit. Then fucking six years later, after we fucking graduate, fucking they, they saying that this is not true. This is not true. This is not true. You it's just, like it's it, like it, it, all right. it's all it's all bullshit, bro. Like they teach you, it's a it's all programming. Like they teach you to think a certain way, and then they tell you it's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, but ultimately, like, listen, man. There's been fucked up people. There is fucked up people, and you can't do nothing about it. There's just gonna be fucked up people to the day this world fucking catches on fire. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like straight up. But listen, man. You made a good point saying that the deli- the delivery industry is the new slave work, bro. You know what I'm saying? Especially with this code. I mean, the, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That bullshit. Yeah, we can't say it, man, before we get our f- everything took. You see that cove over there? That's what I meant. Yeah, it's that co- cove. It's beautiful. Beautiful fucking cove. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, it's crazy, man. Like, I saw a post the other day. It was actually yesterday. It was on Twitter. And they were like, oh, like, the new slave work is fucking, like, delivery drivers. They expect so much out of you to get out of in a certain day. Like, yeah, because... Guess what? No one wants to fucking touch each other. No one wants to be in contact with each other. And yeah, and that's just the way the world is like going, it's bro. Everywhere. Like everybody rather buy online than to buy at a store now. Yeah. Cause it's like honestly, bro, I felt like that because I went to Walmart one day, bro. You were there, nigga. We were trying to buy the fucking Mac. There was nobody there, bro. Like literally, they were walking past us, ignoring us. I'm like, yo, the customer service is straight fucking trash. But nigga. when you go to Best we're Buy, we're sitting here, yeah, like Facts, but it's still like, like there's certain things that you rather get from Walmart. You know what I'm saying? Like it'll be cheaper there, but their customer service is shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And that like it deters a lot of people from even going out. They're like, fuck it, I'll just buy it online. You know what I'm saying? Especially with Amazon, them motherfuckers be killing shit, bro. It's like you could order some shit at a certain time and it'll be at your doorstep the next morning. Yeah, like, which is crazy. fucking nuts. Like I remember that I ordered some gummies for for Remy. Bro, the next day they all, they offered me like next day shipping for like yeah. two bucks. I was like, yeah, bring your if ass. If you pay Prime, bro, you get you get that shit pretty quick. You know what I'm saying? That's but what, that's what it comes with, bro. Like it's just the way the world is going. And that's not even just Amazon. We're talking about food. We're talking about groceries. Mm-hmm. Like everything is changing. It's all delivery now. Yeah, everything. Bro. Hey, listen, man. People are getting like more and more antisocial without even you know realizing it like everybody's not it's not the same bro yeah it's not like it's rare for somebody to wave at you nowadays it's super weird when somebody waves at you that you don't know and it's like oh, how do i know this person or was he being nice or, or her like mm-hmm. you know it's a weird 
world that we live in now, it's different. It's not like, you know, because nowadays, like, no one talks to nobody unless they know you. Yeah, facts. Like, just simple (laughs) interactions, like, unless you're, like, getting gas or like simple interactions like that you buy food you interact with people but it's true a lot of people just rather stay away from other people you know what i'm saying it yeah. might be because of this shit that's going on the pandemic it might be because people that's just, just how you are people you know are just like that yeah you know what i'm saying like everybody has a different reason for being the way they are but but just nowadays you know it's it's a lot more yeah, compared to yeah. like you know the early 2000s and shit like fact you know big fact different time bro weird Weird times, man. Weird times, bro. This ain't normal. Yeah, I'll facts. Tell you that. Facts. That ain't normal. Nah, bro. It, none of the shit that's been going on the last couple of years has been normal, bro. Like, the vibrations just been off, man. I've yeah. been saying that shit for a long time. It feels like life ain't real sometimes, too. If that... Yeah, like it's a simulation or some shit. Yeah. Man, it's weird. It's like There's so... people that believe that, though. There's people that believe that we live in a simulation. I mean, you know that's... it's. Now nowadays, bro, I don't put nothing past nothing. So I listen, if we live in a simulation, bro, I wouldn't be I wouldn't even be surprised. But yeah, it actually makes a lot of sense. <laughs> like, that makes bro. yeah, it does. But we have conscious. You know what I mean? It's like it gets deep, bro. It gets yeah. fucking deep. Now we're way more than what the fuck we appear to be. Like it's just more than this shell. This is a fucking shell that we walk around in. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's like like bro, like one day we're gonna get old. Our bodies are going to deteriorate. We're going to look like shit. And then whatever the fuck, our energy, bro, is going to go somewhere else. Because energy can't be created or destroyed. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, I firmly believe that this, like, our body's just a vessel, bro. It doesn't really matter too much. I really don't. You're only here for a short period of time. And most of that time, bro, you're not even going to be enjoying your body like that, man. Because you're going to get old. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, crazy to me that, like, people don't realize that, though. It's like... It's like, man, like we don't like we have a lot of time, but we don't. You know what I mean? It's kind of like it's kind of in the middle. We talk about that, that sometimes life is long. But the thing is, it's not promised. That's the word promised. Yeah. Like if if, if the world was guaranteed, like, bro, you're guaranteed 100 years, like guaranteed. That'd be different. That's different. Then everybody would look at life like I'm going to take my time. I'm not going to live as you know, on that. You know what I mean? No, you got to take risks, man. You got to take chances, bro. You got to. You got to do what you do, man. You only live one life, and none of it, none of us are getting out of it alive. You could be the most holy of holiest Christians that doesn't do anything and lives by the Bible, or you could be the worst piece of shit on the planet Earth, bro. You're both fucking dying at some point. At some point, y'all going to the same place, depending you know on Judgment Day. You know what Facts. I mean? Facts. <laughs> it's not up to none of us. Yeah. That's another thing, bro. When it comes to like religion, like I believe in God, I read the Bible and stuff like that. But when yeah. it comes to religion, some people just go a little too left with it. Where, like, they start judging in God's name. Like, they start judging, like, their fucking God. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, bro, you don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows and until Judgment Day comes. And it's you know sad because it's not like, like, there's a lot of people that I know that I've known before the religion. Yeah. So, like, there's some things that are good. Like, you know, like, they, there's, a, there's a lot of positive to it. But then there's some things that are just, like, it just throws you off. And it makes you not even want to be around them or just, like, be with them. Because there's certain females that I've been with that were just like, oh, man, wow, good person. Like, wow. But but I look at the future when I'm with somebody as well. It's like, Facts. it's like man, like, how how is the kids going to end up? Like, you know, like, are they afraid to be themselves? Yeah. You know, Facts. there's certain things that they, like, I really Real think, I really think deep about it. You know what I mean? Because it's the way that I look at myself growing up, like, you know, are my kids going to fucking, you know, be insecure about certain things? You know what I mean? Like not being themselves. That's a big part. Like mm-hmm. you got to be yourself like at all times. Like, don't be afraid. If you want to listen to rock and listen to country or listen, whatever the fuck you want to listen to, you want to be gothic and paint your nails. Yeah, bro. That's As a girl, you, bro. And that's be a you. rock star or, or a guy, whatever the fuck you want to, you know what I mean? If you're a rock star, then be a rock star. You know what I mean? If you want to be a fucking, whatever the fuck you want to be, just be you. Let, let me just yeah, leave it bro, short and simple. Facts. That's a fact, bro. Yeah. Being yourself is the best is the best way to fucking get ahead in life. Because it's like, if you ain't yourself, then it's like, I mean, God created you. Yeah, facts. Yeah, like, so you can't argue that. Like Everybody's different, man. Like, everybody's different, bro. Like, you can't. You can't judge other people for not being like you. You know what I'm saying? I used to do that shit a lot where it's like, oh, what the fuck? Like, but bro, that person's different. They think different. They move different. They're just, it's a different person. Like, they don't, they don't have to be into what I'm into for us to have a great relationship. They don't have to do what I do for us to have a great relationship. You know what I'm saying? There's people that go, like to go fucking deep sea diving. I don't want to go deep sea diving. 
Does that mean I'm gonna just like fucking look at you different? Yeah, no, nigga, just hit me up the day you're not deep sea diving. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Like we're, we're skydiving. Yeah, <laughs> facts. Like the day yeah. you're not doing that, we yeah. can chill, bro. Yeah. Like, that's, that's one thing that I won't do, bro. I'm not gonna go skydiving. Sk- yeah, yeah. I've thought about it, but nah, fuck that. I rode a roller coaster, bro, and I was. I'm surprised fun. you even went. Yeah, I, nigga, I'm not a bitch, but it's just like, nigga, I'm not doing that again. Like I'm at that age where I realize, bro, it's just certain things like that. Jonah rush is like it brings you back to like a different. Level of like, listen, man, I don't like that feeling. Yeah, that's the feeling that I'm talking G-force about. Shit, yeah, yeah, the G force. It's not even G force. Like that that, it is G force. But the, okay, I understand that. But the thing is, is like the butterflies, like in your stomach before you hitting up. It's not when you're going down. No, that's not the part that gets me. That shit gets me when that's it's like when it's you? like and it goes mad slow and you're just yeah. You know, it's cool with the roller coasters, like the cheetah. Yeah, that shit. When fast, that shit just bro. that shit's oh, fast. You already bro. know what's gonna happen when no, you. No, no, yeah, no. it takes off. It's not slow. Like it takes its time. It takes off. Yeah, no. That was the first one we yeah. rolled too. Those I fuck with because it's like, all right, this is the smoke. You want the smoke? Nah, right, you get go. straight. We got straight to the smoke. <laughs> we got straight. To, we walked in the parking lot straight there, man. No cap. Cheetah. No cap. That's yours. Because he knew he knew bro. which one to take you on. He's like, bro, it's been a while. Fast. All right, bam. I'm, I'm gonna take you yeah, on. He the- fucked my whole day. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good, man. Shout out to my boy Chris, man. I love you, bro. Nah, but, for real. But yeah, yeah, bro. Fucking nah. You just got as you get older, bro. You gotta be fucking. You get. You gotta know yourself, and you gotta be honest with yourself, bro. I went. You know what I'm saying? I went last year. I went with uh, with, with Jezra and fucking uh, Tatiana and shit, and her mom, and it was fun, and her brother Alex. It was because they all came from the military. They all they're they're all in the military. Hey, for shout out to the military, yeah, man. Yeah, Round yeah. of applause. Yeah, do you, you know what I'm saying to the armed forces, the people that protect this country and give us our freedom. Nah, for real. Real talk. And then like it was awesome. It was a good time. It was a good time. We went to Harry right. Potter. If y'all go to Orlando, go go visit uh Universal, Universal Studios. Studios. Yeah, Harry good. Potter is man, the detail on it. You can even walk in the shops. It's not like you walk through a town, you can't go in the doors. Mm-hmm. No, it's like shops. No, it's where for you real go fans. In. I wanna yeah. go, bro. I haven't been. Like you walk in the wand shop and then like people selling wands and shit, and you could literally go in the shop. Like it's crazy. It's ridiculous it's how dope. much time and effort they put into it's billions shit. Of, you know how much money that yeah. that like franchise has made, bro? You know that's yeah. like the highest paying that's the highest selling book besides the Bible. Think about that. That's the only that's book J. K. Rowling that is the fucking Bible. J.K. Rowling, bro. Like that girl is crazy. a genius. Yeah, man. She like it's yeah. just it's her artistic mind, bro. What we were just talking about. Her parents probably weren't fucking. You know what I'm saying? Like they let her be like a free thinker when it came to that. You yeah, know what I mean, like. Cause that's a crazy thing to think about, like a whole witch and wizard world where magic, like that's a, that you know what I'm saying? That's, that's far a, that, out. There. Yeah, that's a little. You bit You gotta far. have an imagination. Yeah, you know what I mean, like, and it was ridiculous. They even had the fucking train. They yeah, had a fucking bro. train and everything. I, I was go. like, I was like, damn, what the? Fuck? I love Harry Potter, man. Shout out to the Harry Potter fans out there. Y'all go down in the comments and let us know if you would go, if you've been, if you like Harry Potter, if you don't, if you think we're weird, whatever. Just let us fucking know. All right. You you know what though. What's up, my What's up? You know what time it is? Favorite time of the year for it's Hispanic favorite time. time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah bro. You ever roasted a pig? You ever fucking killed the pig and heard that bitch squeal? Yeah. When the fucking bar goes up its goddamn ass? Yeah. You huh? ever, if you never you don't killed, know about that. If you never killed the pig, like you picked it out, cut it. No, no, no. Gut it out. If you never, if you didn't raise the pig, motherfucker. Nah, These niggas that'll that's, raise that's a evil. pig <laughs> and get it fat as fuck, bro. <laughs> and Oscar, kill that name, motherfucker. Name it Oscar. Facts. I right, swear yo. to God, my okay, grandma's my, name. My grandma. Okay, my wiener, cabrón. <laughs> yo, Oscar's getting big, huh? <laughs> But you roast nah, that motherfucker, yo, and you, you know it's Hispanic. Him. You know it's a Hispanic family when they don't do it with the machine, nigga. They do it with the fucking with the bar. And they and they sit there and the they take bar, turns. They turn all drink. They're all getting fucked up, and they're just fucking taking turns. Just drinking hours, beer. hours, bro. But when that pig is done, <laughs> when you that, don't want ain't nothing else. Nah, that bitch right off the fucking stage. You, I, bro, I go for the ear. I take the ear and I. Man, this nigga's a savage. Yo, and I, you know what's crazy? They look at me like, oh, this guy's not Puerto Rican, bro. I'm so Puerto Rican, bro. I eat more Puerto Rican <laughs> shit than you, motherfucker. Yeah, fat. Yo, my dog, my dog, niggas forget, bro. Yeah, for real. I remember we was at the job. Damn, your shit fell over. It's fucked. Yeah. That shit's fucked. Look, bro. Yeah. But yeah, you got to hold it up. But listen, we was at fucking <laughs> at Just Floors and we used to work with this Guano, bro. You know what I'm saying? And me and that nigga used to be speaking Spanish. And he could have sworn this nigga didn't. Like understand it, speaking nothing. Yeah, and I used to tell him because he used to talk mad shit. I'm like, yo, bro, this nigga knows Spanish, bro. Watch your mouth. You know what I'm saying? This <laughs> yeah. nigga can hear you. Yeah, 
And he didn't he didn't fucking believe us until that one day. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I, ever, ever since then, bro, it was a fucking rat. He gave me a free Newport every day. Yeah, bro. <laughs> that nigga was like, dude, respect. Yo, Bobby, yo. Hello, Bobby. I didn't know you were born, bro, in Puerto Rico and everything. You're born there. It wasn't like, yo, he's Puerto Rican. Like, no, bitch, I was born there, motherfucker. Nah, facts, bro. People, we forget, we come in different shades. Yeah, That's different why people shades, need to, different colors, different sizes and like, shit. Like my boy Kane, his dad is black as hell. That's weird. This fucking guy. That's him speak calling of the devil. me. Yo, speak of the devil. I'm just talking about him and he's calling me. But anyways, fucking his dad is black as hell. His dad is black, bro. Like black, black. And yeah. he comes out fucking white as hell. So you don't know. You got to be careful of who you're talking to. Because Facts. you could be talking about, oh, you're racist. And, and, you know, the guy you're talking to is white, but his dad's black. Facts. Like, that's Facts. where we're headed to. Like, people don't realize that. Like yeah, bro. Within the like, they've already said it, made documentaries and shit, like studies. Within the next, I forget how many years. I think it's like a hundred, hundred fifty, something like that, bro. Yeah. Everybody's gonna be like mixed. Like most people are gonna be like just like a certain color, like because we're all mixing, bro. Every day we're mixing and mixing and mixing. Like there's black people getting with Russian people. There's Spanish people getting with fucking like you know what I'm saying. Like people from all over the world. Like everybody's mixing, so. Yeah, bro, that's just how that shit that's, goes. That's a that's wild fucking thing. But I don't know about you. Have you tried eggnog, though? Speaking of the fucking season. I have tried eggnog, bro. But really? Coquito, I haven't. Coquito's Co- way better. Coquito's are eggnog. Of course. You Coquito's, know? to me, Coquito's way better, but eggnog is good, too. I think I've never, I don't think I've ever tried eggnog, though. Like I've regular tried. eggnog. But I always thought Coquito was eggnog. Nah, they're made completely different. Eggnog actually has eggs in it. <clears throat> it's good, though, bro. Like you are, what? It's, it's good shit. It's not bad shit. It tastes good. It's, it tastes all right. It's what does it not, taste like? It's like a creamy type of fucking like. It's kind. It. It's kind of like the texture of a coquito, okay. but it's just. It tastes different, but it tastes good. It's a sweet type of like. Well, alcoholic I, drink. I guess ours is better because we sell it out the bottle. Now we <laughs> listen, man. Every year, bro, I, I hit my sister up, man. I get me a little bottle, get me a couple jars and shit, because she makes it like all different types of flavors. You know what I'm saying? So I get me a couple. But I love Coquito, bro. That's that's my shit, man. I grew up on that, bro. And like, I'm going a, I'm to a drink that shit until yeah. I die. Yeah, Coquito, bro. Straight bro, up. you could bury me with a bottle of Coquito because... Yo, facts. <laughs> bottle of Coquito, bro. And a Six little feet. Fucking, a little Pitorro, bro. That's it. Honey. Yo, and Pitorro is crazy. That shit had me fucked up. Pitorro is you know, that it, shit, nigga. They you, let it sit for like a whole year, bro. If y'all don't know what that is, bro, if y'all ever see a leaf in a bottle... <laughs> And some like different shit in the bottom. You're like, what the fuck is yeah, that on the like, bottom? Holy shit, what is it? You're like, yo, don't worry about it. This is about to get <laughs> fucked up. That shit's take like a not, shot of this, nigga. That, you might as well take 150 ni- proof. <laughs> there, yeah, I was about to say. Sort of I, I was, was going to say 99, but. No, 150 proof. Yeah, 150. 151. Sure. <laughs> you're going to be First fucked. First time I had that with Theo. Yo, yeah, and shout bro. out to Theo. I don't know if y'all noticed the fucking, the Bob Marley yeah, fucking. Man. Yo, Theo got me that. You know what I mean? Shout Round out to him. Round of applause to Theo, bro. Yo, he's had that since he was like. Our age. Yeah, like 18 years old. Nigga, that shit's dope. Put him right next to Nip. Two legends. That's you know a real pot leaf, by the way. Yeah, that shit's dope, man. That shit's like 20 years old. You could tell. <laughs> that shit's fucking yeah, oh, dead as fuck in there. Yeah, bro. That shit's about to die. <laughs> that shit is dead. No, it's just dead. Facts. But now, listen, guys. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget... Like this video, leave a comment, go down in the description, get yourself a little merch, share it with a friend, whatever, Mav. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate you. We love you. Tell somebody you love them, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love.